Based on a new video Tesla recently released showing off their Optimus robot, it's hard to believe that Tesla is really new to the whole robot thing. Remember, Tesla first publicly announced their Optimus project, not yet a prototype, but just an announcement of the project back in August of 2021, and they didn't publicly reveal a prototype until September 30th of 2022, and it was a pretty rough prototype. They really are newbies in the space. However, despite being so new, Tesla has made incredible progress with their Optimus robot. And in this video, I want to highlight Tesla's latest progress and how they're proving critics wrong. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Tesla's Optimus robot has been called a joke, and some experts in the robotics field responding to Tesla's first demo back in September of 2022 were less than impressed. However, here, almost one year after Tesla's uh, first public demo, Optimus now has incredible balance and its hands have impressive human-like dexterity. In addition, using vision alone, Optimus can sort objects by color and self-calibrate its arms and legs to locate its limbs in space. Based on what can be seen in this video, Elon's previous prediction appears like it's going to come true. Elon previously predicted that their Optimus robots would be able to do useful things in their factories, quote, sometime next year. With that being said, I now want to analyze and discuss the significance of what is shown in this Tesla video. First of all, it was revealed in this video that with vision alone, meaning just with cameras, Optimus can self-calibrate its arms and legs to locate where its limbs are in space, which gives the humanoid robot accurate spatial awareness. And this is important, and it actually um, sounds less significant than it really is because in order for the robot to be able to precisely complete useful tasks in a factory or in a home, this is necessary um, for the robot to know exactly and precisely where its arms and legs are. And this is a big step that Tesla has apparently been able to achieve. Next, the video shows that the Optimus robot can recognize colors and has the ability to sort objects like these blue and green blocks by color and accurately adapt and adjust when the blocks are moved. In addition, Optimus has the ability to detect and correct itself, like when this block is tipped over on its side and the robot senses that and flips over the block. One of the most impressive things shown in this video, in my opinion, is the dexterity of the Tesla robot's fingers. As Optimus picks up these blocks, its fingers are really beginning to be much more human-like in their motion. After all, the human hand is amazingly designed. Our fingers and opposable thumbs allow us to powerfully grip objects and also perform very precise tasks like creating fine art, playing an instrument, etc. In order for a humanoid robot to truly perform human-like tasks and achieve human-like precision or better, I believe fingers are a necessity. However, replicating what we as humans are able to do with our fingers and all of the associated muscles and tendons that make our movement possible, that is not easy to replicate. But once again, this video shows that Tesla is making great progress, and I'm very impressed with the dexterity of the Optimus robot's fingers. Now, I do want to address something about this video. There has been accusations out there that this video is CGI and that Tesla is playing some kind of trick here. In this section of the video where the Optimus robot is sorting the various blocks, in this particular clip, as the Optimus robot puts down one of the blocks, the block next to it moves in kind of an interesting way. But as at Tesla Mojo explains in this X.com video post, if you look closely frame by frame, the first block is pushing the second block to the side at first, and then it appears like one of the robot's fingers is then moving the block. So that side motion can be easily explained by the Optimus robot's hand coming down and a finger hitting the block. And there really isn't any other indication in this video that this is CGI. I don't believe Tesla is playing a trick here. I believe this is the real deal. Another important thing that Tesla demonstrated in this video is when they showed the Tesla robot balancing on one leg and stretching pretty far forward, showing just how far Tesla has come in improving the robot's ability to balance. 
Beyond what was shown in this video, I want to briefly highlight something that was shown um, at Tesla's annual shareholder meeting on May 16th when Tesla shared this demo video of the Optimus robot standing and walking on its own and performing some basic mechanical tasks. While not quite human in its motions yet, Optimus can walk on its own and without using LiDAR like other companies, using vision alone, Optimus can perceive the world around it and even memorize its environment. With that being said, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, some in the robotics field have been less than impressed with Tesla's Optimus robot. And specifically, I came across this article that was published on the IEE Spectrum website this article was published on October 4th of 2022 and was in reaction to the first Tesla Optimus demo back in September of 2022. This article included responses from 14 different people and I wanna highlight a few of those and respond to them. First of all, Ryan Gareppi, who is the CTO of ClearPath Robotics and Auto Motors, responded to the Optimus robot back in 2022, quote, great credit to the engineering team who pulled it off, of course, but I'm not seeing anything particularly impressive here, which we can attribute specifically to Elon or Tesla. Specifically, there were lots of arguments ahead of the unveil that one or more of the Tesla FSD stack slash data slash EV experience was going to let them leapfrog all of the other companies in the space, and I didn't see any of that. In short, I'd bet that any decent university or corporate robotics lab with a similar budget and an active PR team would be able to pull this off. Now, to be fair, Ryan may have been right last year because the initial demo of the Optimus robot was not all that impressive. However, when you fast forward to this year and with Tesla's progress that was recently shown in the video I discussed previously, Tesla's Optimus robot is impressive and we're starting to see the benefit of Tesla's FSD neural net training and their expertise in this space, which is allowing Tesla to massively speed up progress on Optimus and Tesla's progress, as we've seen over the last year or so, is far more impressive than I believe a startup or university could do with a similar budget. Next, this article shares a response from Dennis Hong, who is a professor at UCLA, and Dennis's response was, quote, What was most impressive to me was what the Optimus team was able to accomplish in such a short period of time. If you are in this field, you would agree too. The prototype they have created will serve as an excellent beginning platform for them to learn from and to build upon. I believe Dennis Hong's response here is exactly right, and I'm guessing that he is also equally impressed with the progress that Tesla has made between 2022 with that first demo and now here with the recent video that Tesla shared showing the Optimus robot doing some very impressive tasks. Will Jackson, the founder and CEO of Engineered Arts, responded to the Optimus robot, quote, it's generally an old school series chain of actuators, accepting wrists and ankles, which are differential roll pitch. Nothing novel in the kinematics. No mechanical energy storage, parallel springs, etc. It's not going to be efficient unless they change that. Will added, all the actuators look like they need and use active force loops. This looks nasty to me. It will complicate the control, reduce efficiency, and raise complexity. If they really want to get to $20,000 a unit, this is not the way to go. Of course, Will Jackson specifically pointed out there the Tesla actuators. He didn't seem impressed with the actuators that Tesla showed in that first demo. These actuators are what allow the arms and fingers and legs, etc., to be able to move. And the Optimus robot apparently includes 40 electromechanical actuators, 12 in the arms, 2 in the neck, 2 in the torso, 12 in the hands, and 12 in the legs. However, it's important to note that with that early prototype, Tesla was having to kind of cobble together various actuators, and they hadn't yet um, input all their own actuators into the design. As Elon Musk mentioned in Tesla's Q2 
2023 investor conference call, quote, the first optimists that will have all of the Tesla designed actuators, sort of production candidate actuators integrated and working should be around November ish. In that same conference call, Elon Musk talked about the fact that there really weren't a lot of off the shelf actuators for humanoid robots available and that Tesla is really having to design these themselves. And once again, that early prototype really didn't have the ideal actuators just yet. So while Will Jackson was not impressed with the actuators of the Tesla robot back in 2022, he very well may have different things to say about Tesla's newest actuators when the Tesla robot has 100% Tesla actuators. I'm not sure if this demo video by Tesla was a demo video of all Tesla actuators because Elon had specifically estimated sometime around November-ish for the Optimus robot to have all Tesla designed actuators. Gary Marcus, who is the author of Rebooting AI, responded, quote, The Optimus demo turned out to be a bit of a dud. At the end of his response, Gary added, For me, the most worrisome part of last night's presentation was not the lack of a world-beating demo, but a lack of recognition of what would even be required. In response to Gary, I would say once again that this was their first prototype that they publicly unveiled. However, what Tesla has now is impressive and their rate of improvement is astonishing. Mikkel Taylor, who is Principal Technical Program Manager at Amazon Robotics responded, quote, Those of us in the industry were watching to see if Tesla somehow knew something we didn't know. And nope, they did not. The tech isn't there for anyone. Interestingly enough, this response from Mikkel actually reminds me of where Tesla was back in the original Roadster days. The Tesla Roadster was of course not the first electric vehicle. Electric vehicles have been built since the early 1900s. However, Tesla showed what was possible with lithium ion batteries that were traditionally being used in laptops. Tesla took these laptop batteries and put them in a modified Lotus Elise chassis and proved just what was possible even with tech that existed at that time. The Model S of course took it to the next level as Tesla completely designed that vehicle from the ground up to be an electric vehicle. And I believe when it comes to the Tesla robot, we're still kind of in the original Tesla Roadster days when it comes to a parallel there. Tesla is still designing components and uh, kind of perfecting that. But I believe we're very quickly moving into, I would say the Model S stage of the Optimus robot, where the Optimus robot is about to get 100% Tesla designed actuators, etc. And I believe we're going to see even more refinement when that happens, if it has not already. So while some critics may say that the technology is not there to build a humanoid robot that really can replace a human right now, um, I believe Tesla, is going to be the one that really gets us there. And I'm not saying that other robotics companies are not doing great things, but I believe Tesla is poised to be a leader in the future because they're completely designing everything themselves and they have extremely smart engineers on the Tesla team. The last response that I wanna cover comes from Cynthia Young, who is a founding board member of Women in Robotics. And Cynthia responded, quote, I love that Tesla has decided to create a five-fingered hand as opposed to a two or three-fingered pincer or vacuum-based pick-and-place approach. There's a reason why all the warehouse startups don't use hand-like manipulation mechanisms. So um, really to wrap all this up, what Tesla has done is amazing and Tesla is proving that the early critics of their robotics efforts were wrong. My prediction is that in just a few years, Tesla will be considered a global leader in humanoid robotics. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.